Well, we might as well shoot us a little video while we got some downtime. Got a old man's bringing a cow up from a different pasture. Got my summer help, one of my good friends, down there gathering some cows off that playa. And we're just gonna all meet up here in this corner and push them up to that barn up there and start branding. This is my wife's horse. It was my horse first, but that's okay. She can't ride. That's my wild, amazing cow dog that doesn't really listen to me. But whatever, she's fun to have around. These are all uh, my dad's cows. They're really young, young cows. Uh, real nice, nice set of heifers. We we had bought them as replacements and a item. We were gonna sell them and. That's when the cattle market collapsed, uh, right when we were ready to sell them. That's when everything started falling apart that August. And, you know, you end up with $3,000 ahead into them. Uh, and that, at that point, you're going to lose. I think we got close to 2400 No, maybe we got like 2200 on them and we PO'd them. So by the time we fed them, through the winter and kept them out it was closer to three thousand a head and you know you just can't take eight hundred dollars a head loss and so we just kept them and uh we still own them my, my dad still owns them that's uh you know that's that's just part of the business though so we had to we really didn't have the ground for them but then again we you know we just found a place for them so we still have them uh there's a little over 100 head of them so that's you know pretty good indication why we didn't want to lose $800 a head when we when we had the opportunity to sell them so we just kept them and they'll just eventually get folded completely into the the cow herd once they're once their debts paid they'll just go in with the rest of the cows but you know right now we keep them separate and go that route with them but uh anyways I better get my ass back to work <laughs>